You've done this before, before the break, taking a formula, using it to fill out a table, right? Just a reminder, so we have our input values that are being given to you today. Start with negative seven, here's our formula, parenthesis, three times negative seven, plus one, parenthesis, times negative seven, minus two, get an answer, 180. And I'll fill out the rest of the table the same way. All right, so I got my values, my x values, a of x is gonna be my y values. First off, I will notice that my Y values get very large. The smallest Y value is when X equals zero for this set. And I'm gonna move my X axis all the way down near the bottom and just leave a little bit of space at the bottom because most of my Y values are positive. The other thing that I'm gonna notice is that looking at my biggest and my smallest X values, eight's the biggest. Negative nine is the smallest, they're about equal to each other, so I'm gonna put the y-axis near the center. I can't count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I almost could count by ones, but I can't count by ones in the x direction. So, I'm gonna count by twos. Two, four, Six, eight. I don't need to go farther than that because my biggest number once again is eight. Biggest number is eight. Smallest number is negative nine. Uh, whatever I am counting by, I need to count by the same thing in the negative direction. So, we've got negative 10, negative 8, negative 6. Negative four, negative two, and zero. All right, negative direction is a little tougher to get them lined up. So those will be my x values in the y direction. I need to get all the way up to 286, which means I'm going to have to count by a lot in the y direction. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lines, 14 lines to work with. Hmm, 280 divided by 14 is close to 20. I'm gonna count by 20s. I think I'm gonna to have to count by 21s to actually make everything fit. So, Y direction, 21. Sixty-three. So we definitely get up past 286. Now, if you're not sure how I decided to count by 21s, uh, remember we had 14 little lines to work with above a zero. And I basically do 286, my biggest 
y value divided by how many spaces I have, right? And that tells me I need to count by a little bit more than 20. And if you're struggling to count by 21s, uh, you can always do 21 plus 21. That's 42 plus 21 plus 21 to get all those numbers. All right. So graph is set up. Now I just have to put the points on the graph. Negative 7, backward 7. So notice there is no there is no 7. I got to be between negative 6 and negative 8 and 180. There's 189. So I'm a little bit below that. Okay, so your dots might not be on grid marks this time. Two zero will be very close to, well, it's going to be on the axis. Actually, I can put that in an exact grid mark there. Uh, zero, negative two. And I put the rest of these on the map. Again, 5 is between 4 and 6. 48 is a little bit above 42. 8, 150. Nice little curve there. We are once again going to connect the dots. This time they're not going to make any nice pictures, but just get used to doing this curve. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, double click. That is how this is done. All right, your job, once again, fill out the table, you know how to do that, and then you're going to place your axes based on the numbers that you have here. So once again, this this x value, you're going to look for the smallest and the largest. We have our smallest value is negative 23. Our largest value is 34. So we need a little bit more positive space than negative space in the x direction. Notice I'm moving the y axis because the y axis where I place that is going to determine how much x I have to the right, and how much x I have to the left. And again, if we placed it directly there. I need to get up to 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 9 lines to work with. I could count by 4s. That'll give me that'll get me up to 36. Let me make sure it'll also get me down to negative 23. If I count by 4s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, it'll get me down to 23. Okay? Same kind of thing in the x direction. And then after you've placed your axes on there, then you can start placing your points. After you've decided what you're going to count by, who wants you to be able to do this? Your science teachers. Your science teachers specifically ask for this. Please make sure our kids know how to scale axis so they can fit all their data onto a graph.